Why do some reports say there's gold in New Jersey while others don't? Let's dig in. So, you're flipping through old geological reports and, surprise, gold has been found in New Jersey. Wait, no, it hasn't. What gives? This contradiction is more than confusing, it's revealing. It shows how our understanding of the land is often a mess, filtered, fragmented, and outdated. Think about it, people find new fossils on beaches all the time without even looking. So, why should gold be any different? Geology isn't a static map. Rivers shift, storms erode, and old rocks get a fresh reveal. Something missed 200 years ago might be right at the surface today. Maybe the no gold in New Jersey claim was just a premature conclusion. The real story might be buried under backyards, woods, and forgotten corners. So, is there gold in Jersey? In the New Jersey Geological Survey's newsletter, Unearthing New Jersey, Volume 7, Number 1, there's a fascinating contradiction. It reports that gold has been found in various locations across the state. This isn't just a casual mention, it's documented in old geological survey documents, meticulously recorded by experts who spent countless hours in the field. The newsletter is a treasure trove of information, filled with maps, papers, and first-hand accounts that paint a vivid picture of New Jersey's geological history. Places like North Arlington's Copper Mines, Long Valley's Quartz Veins, and even Castle Point and Hoboken have all been mentioned. These locations are not just random spots on a map, they are significant geological sites that have been studied extensively. The copper mines in North Arlington, for instance, have long been a source of fascination for geologists with their rich deposits and complex formations. Castle Point in Hoboken. The language is clear, gold has been reported, and gold has been found associated with copper ore. But hold up. That same report also claims that no gold has been found in New Jersey. Just like that, as if the earlier paragraphs never existed. This contradiction is not just a minor oversight, it's a glaring inconsistency that raises more questions than it answers. So, which is it? This isn't just a matter of words. It shows the cautious, sometimes conflicting way geological history is handled. 